Who did I catch singing then? Yes, yes, we were singing. Well, you were all singing. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a good idea to sing. Yes, we were singing. singing. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that on a regular basis, then we'll have a little sing along sometimes. Well, the only yes. thing is it's all delayed, so it sounds awful. We've tried to do that with our choir, and <laughs> it just doesn't work. It, it just sounds absolutely dreadful. <laughs> right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, just. Can you all wave at the screen if you can hear me okay? Fantastic, great. Okay, so I'm going to mute you all. Um, but you can unmute yourselves for the time being because you know I like to speak with you on my introduction. And obviously when the speaker starts, I will turn the microphones off. Um, did everybody manage to watch the RHS uh, programme last night? Yes. Yeah. yes. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I think it was really fantastic. Uh, the program is really well made. Um, I, I think the scale of what they've got to do is just incredible, isn't it? Um, and I think it was really nice for us to get a behind the scenes look at um, is someone playing music again. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it was really good and it filled me with excitement, um, ready for our trip um, in July to go and see it. Um, but I couldn't believe that we have to wait another month until the next episode. Oh, um, no. I can't yeah. it's not tonight or, or, or next week. Yeah, yeah, it's a month until the next episode, which is a real shame. But oh. yeah, I'm really quite excited for our trip to go and see it in July. So that will be fantastic. If you did, if anybody did miss it, it's repeated on Sunday at 11.30. So you can um, you can watch it then. I think it'll be on BBC Two. Right, okay, well, so... Sunday, get the first five well, Sunday Welcome, you everybody. Get... We're all here today for a talk from Victoria on extending the season in your garden. And today's uh, talk has been arranged by Ellesmere Garden Club, so thank you very much to them. And as usual, you know I'd like to warm you up with a quiz question. So camellias. Now, I used to like camellias up until this year because they're a fantastic <laughs> range of colours, but everyone I've seen at the moment is brown. <laughs> <laughs> horrible brown singed uh, and same with the magnolias so anyway so today's question um do they require specific ground conditions now don't shout out the answer we'll have the answers at the end as usual so that's the first question and the second question um this has been kindly provided to us by one of our members so richard sent me a photograph of this so should we pull this plant out if you find it in your garden Ooh. so you can have a good look at that um, so if anybody else has got question, quiz questions for me in the future, please do send them me so that I don't have to keep thinking of new questions every time. Um, right, a few bits and bobs. There's a, again another TV programme on this week um, on Kew Gardens. Um, they're coming thick and fast, all these programmes. So that's on Thursday um, on Channel 5 at 8 o'clock. Um, and I think, I can't remember how many programmes it's, it's got, um, but it's on Kew Gardens. Um, and it's just after Carol Klein's programme. So Carol's is on at seven, and then this one's on at um, eight o'clock. So there's a new range of camellias that actually flower in the summer months um, from May to October. So obviously we know that most camellias flower at sort of this part of the season or at winter, um, if it's the Sanka ones. Um, but there's a new range that have been bred recently. Um, and I'm going to show you one of them that's available now. This one's called Camellia 1001 Summer Nights Jasmine. So they've been bred by um, a chap called Gayo Jivin. Um, he's been breeding um, azaleas um, and camellias for 50 years and it took him that long to get this, um, this ready. So apparently there's quite a few that are um, in the pipeline that'll be coming out soon, but they do flower in summer, like I say, from May to October, it's semi-double um, and it's evergreen. Um, it was supposed to be in the Chelsea Flower Show last year, but obviously because that didn't happen, um, it didn't get released properly. So yeah, so make a note of that. Have a look in the shops. It's quite expensive at the moment, um, but hopefully prices will drop uh, eventually. Right, I'm gonna introduce Victoria now. Victoria used to be an accountant 
um, before she got into horticulture in 2001, she had a change of career. So same, same as me, um, I used to be an accountant. Um, Victoria then went to study at uh, Pershaw College uh, before going to work for Bob Brown at his nursery, Cotswold Garden Flowers. Um, she then used to run her own nursery called White Owl Farmhouse Plants, um, based in the Cotswolds. Um, and her speciality is to try and grow plants which you wouldn't necessarily find in garden centres. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to be coming up today. So I'm Right then, quiz answers. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Don't want to give the answers away. Have we got a, what was the first question? First question was... Um, Amelia. Oh, yes. Amelia. Yeah. Go on then. <laughs> give me the answer. Ericacia. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, um, they are, I mean, they're fantastic mm -hmm. um, plants, um, but as you go round, not only have they got brown flowers yeah. <laughs> well a lot of them have got yellow egg and, mm. uh, and brown foliage so uh, people have got them in the wrong condition so yeah you need to um, make sure they're in acidic conditions and that last one should you and, pull... oh i'm sorry indy but i was told to water them during august yeah if you have a camellia mm. and it's oh. dry oh. summer water your camellia oh. in august that's when it's pretty producing its buds for next yes, year. Yes, that's right. Yes. Water them all summer. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Water them for Pusley in May. After they stop flowering. After. So um, the ideal scenario is to make sure that you are keeping them moist throughout the whole of summer because yeah. that's when summer and autumn because the buds are, are forming at that point um, yes. and make sure the plants are obviously well protected over over winter um, it's those frosts that really damage the um, you know the delicate petals um, but it's a pain in the derriere to be out there every mm. night I mean certainly in this certainly for this year covering them with with fleece um, yeah. but that's the only way to sort of make them look good which is why I showed you that new um, comedian at the beginning which you can uh, go for which means you don't have to worry about that at all I mean you still have to obviously keep it watered because it's still forming the buds at the same time but you should get the foliage um, throughout um, throughout summer right then should you pull this plant out yeah. well, I don't know tell you what we can have a quick poll couldn't we I can do a yes and a no yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I always keep this as a as a backup just in case. I go no. <laughs> I'll just put no. I don't know, but no. <laughs> you don't need to go for other. That was that's just there in case. <laughs> but um, for those th for those three people who voted other, I'm going to ask you to. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm going to. I'll end that now. Uh, I'm going to share the results. So 34% say yes, 57% no, and 9% say other. So uh, the ones who voted other, what, what's the other option? <laughs> Ignore it. Wait, wait, wait for it to flower. Is, is Richard with us today? Yes, I'm here, but you can't see me. Ah, okay, do you want to give us the answer then, Richard? Yes, it's actually nettle leaved bellflower. Oh, right. um, and so, at first glance, particularly towards the end of a busy weeding period, <laughs> you might see the shape of the leaves and think, yet another nettle. But you have to rein yourself in. Right. And the reason right. I put it in particularly is we have plants in a neighbour's garden and it sometimes appears where a weed might also be. So, uh, just a little bit of caution, but it's a wonderful plant if you do look after it. Right. <laughs> right. Thank you for that. Thanks, Richard. And if anybody's got any questions in the future they want to let me know about, um, by all means, send them through. So, don't, so I don't have to think of something new every time. <laughs> right. So thank you, everybody. So um, I'm going to open up the breakout rooms in a moment, but I'll say goodbye for those who want to leave. And hopefully I shall see you on Thursday. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.